Out of all mid-journey images that we create, only a few of them really stand out. And others, well, they don't. And this is not because your prompting sucks or that you have a bad taste. This is because most of the times people don't use AI upscalers yet. AI image upscalers are crucial to bring your image to the next level. And famous AI filmmakers in the scene like Dave Clark or the guys from Curious Refuge are using AI image upscalers all the time to take their work to the next step and reach really that quality they're looking for. I will show you in this video my top 5 best AI upscaling tools that are mostly used at the moment in time to really reach that level of quality that we are all looking for in our images. Besides that, we will also talk about the new relighting feature that one of the most terrific upscalers we will talk about, Magnific AI, just released. So make sure to stick until the end. The first tool of our five tools that we will talk about is Crea AI. Crea can not just upscale images, but also videos, which is super nice. So basically when we are on the website, the only thing we have to see is we have a real time enhancer and video option here. And we have to click on the enhance option on the top. And then we directly see that we have here a window where we can drag images. I will compare the same images for all the five upscales that we are using. So you have a comparison and can see which one is doing the best job and where the differences in the moment. So basically I have this uh, really nice image of a coffee cup that I created in mid journey. We can use this one then to, if we want to have it upscaled. So I will just drag it into the field uh, that we have over here. And then we see it over here in our little box and then we can just select it. And sometimes it takes a while until it's loaded. And then only thing we need to do now is we can go here to the right side where, where we have an upscaling factor as well as settings that we can set. So we can determine here our AI strength, the resemblance, clarity, and the resolution. Basically, we could also do color correction here, but for now, most of the times I leave it at the basic defaults that we have, but we could change it here theoretically. So I will just go with something like this. Clarity is of course how much we will want to see in the image. Resemblance is how much it should differ from the original one. And then we could say here also a negative prompt if we want to have that to see when we really want to have something in the image not there anymore. So we, when we want to have it removed, we could also do this. And only thing we have to do then is just click enhance. All right, and once it's loaded, we can then see on the left side, we have our original still. On, on the right side, we can already notice that we have here more detail than before. So we also have a slider here to compare both of those. And we can actually see how much more detail we get here in the in the ground and in the wooden pattern and like in the coffee beans and the coffee itself. Once you're happy with it, you can then go to download it. And for this one, you just need to go to um, right mouse button and then click download. And then it will directly download your image onto your PC. Moving on to our second tool. This tool is called uh, Upscale. And the really amazing thing about Upscale is actually that it's completely free. It's open source, so you can, everyone can install it on their PC and actually use it there. So only thing you need to do is go to the website. You just need to scroll down, then you can select here. If you have a Mac, then of course this one and select your operating system. And I did that already. So we see it here. We have here our Upscale AI image upscaler. We can then uh, either select batch upscale which will let us uh, batch multiple images at once so you already see that you have here unlimited AI upscaling possibilities then we can select here our model so you already see this one is describing for example that we have a super sharp result but in some cases you don't want that to have it more like grainy to have uh, also to keep a bit of realism because it's uh, if it's too sharp then it's also not that good and just play around with those and and just select the one that you feel most comfortable with or that feels for you the most correct because you can just test it of course then as a next step you can 
go here and select for example double upscale which would be then even further so you see your resolution up down here which is already a lot in my case because i think i selected the image i already upscaled as a test before <laughs> here we can see okay the resolution is lower um, then here we want of course to set the output folder we will use for now like the maybe the general photo remakery for now and then just hit upscale and this is our final result and i think it worked quite well we have some more details on the ground itself we have more uh, structure in the wood in the air, for example and some other small details, but which really add, add up to the realism of the image itself. All right, and now we're coming to our third tool, which is of course, who could have guessed, it's Runway. <laughs> of course, they also provide a image upscaler. Then we see on their homepage that we have to go to the upscale image option down here just click on it and then we can upload a file here so i will just choose again our coffee cup that we have what we can do now is basically convert it to a different resolution here i have to say i'm a bit disappointed that we don't have that much settings here but it's still great for upscaling the resolution so let's see what's happening so let's just upscale it to 2k and yeah it's quite fast so we can see we can toggle here to the original to see the difference and we think, can see here a few subtle notes that changed which is quite nice i think it's not a huge difference for sure but um, we can even go to the 4k let's see what we're getting then and you see this was also quite fast we can toggle now again and now we see it even more it added some more highlights onto the thing it added uh, also some more highlights uh, like detail in the shadow itself it's not that huge of a difference than we saw before with Crea and Upscaler, but I think it's still great to have this option and that you know it. All right, the fourth tool I want to show you is Topaz Labs. And I have to say Topaz Labs is probably the most professional uh, solution that you can get and which is out there at the moment because uh, you have way more settings than in all the other options that I just showed. And you can install it to your PC and you have incredible ways how you can work with it. Downside to it is the pricing for sure, which I will just show you in a second. So we are here actually on their website and we can see they have actually multiple products that we can choose from. So let's take a look at the products. So we have, for once we have photo AI, we have video AI and we have Gigapixel 7. And we, we basically have three different softwares we could choose from. So of course, if you want to upscale your videos or working mainly with videos, then this might be your best option here otherwise the photo ai or gigapixel 7 could work the difference between the photo ai and the gigapixel 7 is that with the photo ai you can even remove noise and sharpen your details uh, much more than with the gigapixel 7 which is more focused on just the upscaling part itself and we can see on their website some great examples what this tool is capable of so i'm right now looking at the gigapixel 7 and we can actually see when we compare it what the difference is here and you see it's astonishing what this tool can do so when we look at the wings of the butterfly for example it's crazy how much detail it will actually bring into the image itself when we look at the wings and the wood for example the good thing is here you just buy uh, you just pay one time 100 dollars and then you will have it for eternity and then we already come to our last and final tool which is called magnific ai and Magnific is for me personally the my favorite AI upscaling tool. Unfortunately, it's quite expensive. I have to say for, for personal use, the Magnific Pro is way than enough to have it. You get 2,500 tokens per month, which is quite a lot. We see that we have here on the top different options that we can use and we want to use the upscaler as the first thing to show you what we need to do is then hit on upload and then choose our coffee cup again of course and then the first thing we can select is actually what it's optimized for so we see it's on standard but we can also say portrait art and illustration video game assets 
nature and landscapes, films and photography, 3D render, science fiction, horror. For this one, I will leave it at standard. We could also type in here prompt. What helps uh, most of the times is also type in the mid journey prompt that you prompted and paste it in here. Besides that, we can then choose here. We have a creativity slider, HDR, resemblance, fractality and the engine so quite a lot of options that we can use here so what we can do is actually with the uh, creativity we can see how much the ai should should influence our image how much it should imagine on top to add to our original image so most of the times i leave it at zero but we can go now uh, for example to two maybe uh, to test it out then hdr is actually the lighting mode so how much information it should add to the detail lighting wise and how much info it should have in the blacks and so on so we can also change this so maybe let's change this also to two resemblance is same as in crea ai how much it should keep from the original one so this one i will keep at zero because we don't want to have completely different image and for the fractility this will decide how much small details it should care for like um, should it really go into the details and the small details per pixel or should it stay more broad because of course it could happen that the image seems too sharp when we go with a too high value here but i will also set this to two and then for the engine we can also say which ai model it should use again so it, uh, there is magnific illusio sharpie and sparkle we will go with automatic because uh, magnific is doing quite a well job when it comes to this and we see our final size for the image is then 2k at the moment so let's upscale it and see what we get all right and now we are back and we actually see the result and i mean look at this this is crazy <laughs> uh, from detail wise what we get here on the wood itself this is by far the best result from my tests uh, that we did today i think so we actually can see um, how much detail we get here into the coffee cup as well on the sprinkles on the face itself and yeah it just adds much more realism we get here some nice uh, specular highlights on the beans itself and it's just making the whole image more real i think all right and besides that uh, i wanted to show you the new relight feature that magnifica i just released a few days ago which is also really nice i think so we can basically upload here an image again but first we have to say where our light information is coming from and we can say here from the prompt of course uh, from a reference image of our light map and we want to select for now the reference image and we say see we have to upload to image and of course we want to then upload first our original image so let's choose our coffee cup again and then we want to choose as well a second image that we can use all right and for the second image uh, i will choose for now this image here which i also created in mid journey it's quite a drastic difference so i'm pretty excited how it will turn out in the end so let's see if it fits or not but we can just drag it in here here we can choose then the light transfer strength so it's similar to the ai string which we had before in Crea. So how much it should influence here, of course, it will keep it quiet to the original image. And here it will transfer all the light information that we have from our second image here onto it. Interpolate from original is just a good option when you want to have a really low value then you can choose it because then it will keep even more from the original because if you want uh, want to just have a subtle effect on the lighting itself this could play in handy but otherwise i would um, leave it off for now here you can also say if it change the background so we can leave this on for now to see what we get and here fixed generation is like a fixed seed so we can choose this if you want really then to have the same image and just do very very subtle adjustments on it or if we don't want to have magnific ai change the image at all and it really should just change the lighting but we will do for now this one and then we can just click on relight we get quite an interesting result to to show again the original image that we had <laughs> 
this was the one we piped in and uh, we can see that this guy sneaked in here now in the background itself and sniffing at the coffee at least it looks like it but i think it's a really cool tool i mean probably when we would keep the fixed generation on then we can see that we keep the ground and everything and the background the same also when we would change this one here so let's do one more test to see how that will change and yeah great we will see here for example i just changed now the change background and and the fixed generation and we see it's just taking the lighting details and really just relights the image but keeps the background and most of the original features that we have so it just generates that lighting obviously it doesn't look great right now so but i think you get the point i just wanted to choose a really drastic example so you really see what this tool is doing in case you're someone who wants also not just upscale your images but also create a cinematic short film out of them you should definitely check out one of my most recent videos where i will show you how to you can create a cinematic short from scratch using Midjourney, Creai AI and Hepa AI. So definitely check that out. I will just link it right in the end of this video. Otherwise, of course, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then like this video, share it with your friends if you enjoyed it and uh, see you on the next video then actually. So stay tuned.